Today, we're going to take a look at a few tips that can help you mix filler so that it doesn't harden too fast or take too long to set up. We'll also cover what you can use to mix it so that it's easy to spread and clean up. To mix body filler, you can get a reusable board and metal spreaders and all of this can be used again. Or you can cut up scrap cardboard and use a plastic spreader and just throw your boards out when you're done with them so this is disposable. And last, if you have a really small spot, you can cut up little boards and even make yourself a little spreader out of an old one. Before you take any filler out of the can, you'll want to mix it up because the resin sort of separates. So to do that, I just take a paint stick and use it sideways like this and keep doing this. So, slow motion, you're bringing up the bottom and mixing it. So bring up the bottom, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. And I don't mix it this way because the, the paint stick will bend and break. So mix it this way. And you're good. And this is what it should, that's what it should look like. If it doesn't look like that, it's probably dried out, or maybe it's been on the shelf too long. When dealing with the hardener, sometimes it separates too, so you'll want to open the lid, squeeze out any air, turn it up like this, and squeeze out any air until, until it just starts coming out. So you got all the air out of there. Put the lid on, and then just knead the tube a little bit to mix it all together real well. That way you won't be squirting out some really liquidy hardener. And then a real good rule of thumb is whenever you are adding your hardener, let's say you have a glob like this big. A good rule of thumb is to stretch a bead of hardener across the top of that. Maybe like that. And you're good. Then just get your spreader, and you can stir it up a little bit like this, just to mix that in there. It's not going to cause any problems, and gather it up, and start to spread it out. Now, you want it off of your spreader, so you can just go like that, and then just take and keep going in to the pile. Scoop it up again, and and I grab a little bit each time. I don't go like this. I don't go like this and then just start spreading like that. You can take it like that and grab a little bit each time as you move up the pile. Just grab it again and do it again. Go up the pile and gather it again and you're you're basically that's good we're basically done one more scoop around and we're ready to spread it any excess filler that's left you can just scrape it up off your board clean your board and then with the other scraper, you're just going to go like this. Oh, we got some over here. And that's good. And then you can get the rest, uh, any residue left on there with a razor blade. And one time across the bottom and that thing's real clean and then the other one also because we used it to help clean the one there's really no difference whether you use a plastic spreader or a metal spreader that's just a preference thing and again to mix this we're going to stretch a line across the filler 
stir it in a bit and mix. Get it off the spreader, go around, and the rules are the same. You'll always have a bit of filler left over, so with a plastic spreader and a disposable mixing board, you can simply, like this, and let that harden. Cleanup for the plastic spreaders is a matter of just breaking it out of the filler, and you're good. Now these, these edges, they'll, they'll peel off, but you can also soak them in some lacquer thinner and you'll, they'll clean up real well. And let's say you need to mix up just a tiny little bit of filler. We have this diameter and we stretched a little bit of hardener across. And we're just going to mix it up with our little spreader. And the same rules apply whether you have a big pile or a tiny little pile. The advantages of using the cardboard and the plastic spreader is that the cardboard can be tossed after use and the plastic spreader is a bit more flexible and forgiving. The advantages of the reusable board is that it can be scraped clean and these can also be scraped clean. And these spreaders are a bit stiffer and you can spread it a little bit flatter, a little bit tighter and smoother. Once again, it doesn't matter if you use the cardboard with the plastic spreaders or the reusable board with the metal spreaders. They both work very well and it's a matter of preference. I hope this video makes mixing body filler a bit easier for you. And if it did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.